the revelation from the Pentagon, amid the backdrop of the United States' towering military might, is akin to a seismic shift in the global power dynamics, poised to etch its mark on the annals of history. This announcement, a watershed moment in modern warfare, unveils the advent of a novel nuclear ordnance, dwarfing its predecessors in potency and destructive capability. The specter of Hiroshima, forever etched in the collective memory, serves as a haunting reminder of the cataclysmic power unleashed by atomic weaponry. The city, once a vibrant metropolis, bore witness to the inferno of the first atomic bomb, its streets ravaged, its people incinerated in an instant. The aftermath of Hiroshima and Nagasaki reverberates through time, a samba testament to the horrors of war and the perils of unchecked aggression. The toll exacted on human lives, the scars etched upon the landscape, stand as enduring symbols of the folly of conflict. Yet, amidst the somber echoes of history, the world finds itself at a precarious crossroads, where the shadows of conflict loom large, and the specter of nuclear annihilation casts its ominous shadow. China's ascent as a nuclear power, underscored by its burgeoning arsenal and ambitious military goals, heralds a new era of geopolitical tension and uncertainty. The Pentagon's apprehensions, voiced with grave concern, paint a portrait of a world teetering on the brink of a new arms race, where the specter of mutual destruction looms large on the horizon. In the face of this existential threat, the imperative for diplomacy and dialogue assumes paramount importance. The need for concerted efforts towards disarmament and de-escalation becomes an urgent imperative, lest humanity find itself hurtling towards the abyss of nuclear oblivion. As the world grapples with the specter of nuclear proliferation, the lessons of history serve as a sobering reminder of the fragility of peace and the enduring legacy of conflict. Only through collective action and unwavering resolve can we navigate the perilous waters that lie ahead, charting a course towards a future where the specter of nuclear war remains but a distant memory. In an era fraught with escalating tensions and looming nuclear threats, the imperative for dialogue and cooperation emerges as a linchpin for mitigating the risks of misunderstanding and miscalculations. In response to the mounting nuclear challenges posed by adversaries like China, the United States Department of Defense has unveiled plans to develop a groundbreaking nuclear weapon, poised to redefine the landscape of deterrence. Dubbed the B-6112, this modernized iteration of the venerable B-61 nuclear gravity bomb represents a quantum leap in firepower boasting a yield surpassing its predecessors by orders of magnitude. John Plum, Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy, underscores the shifting security paradigm and the imperative for the United States to adapt to emerging threats, ensuring the credibility of its deterrent posture. The B-6112, with its formidable yield of approximately 360 kilotons of TNT, epitomizes the pinnacle of technological prowess, integrating state-of-the-art safety, security, and precision features gleaned from decades of advancements. Crucially, the B-6112's compatibility with a diverse array of aircraft, including the cutting-edge B-21 Raider bomber, underscores its versatility and potency as a cornerstone of America's nuclear deterrent strategy. Moreover, the Pentagon reassures that the introduction of the B-6112 will not engender an expansion of the USA's nuclear stockpile, as it will replace existing B-61-7 bombs, thus ensuring strategic stability. However, the road to operationalizing the B-6112 is fraught with challenges, necessitating congressional approval and funding, with projections aiming for completion by the dawn of the next decade. Amidst these developments, the recent high-explosive experiment conducted at a nuclear test site in Nevada underscores the USA's unwavering commitment to upholding the safety and reliability of its nuclear arsenal, a cornerstone of its national security posture. As the specter of nuclear conflict looms large on the global stage, the unveiling of the B-6112 heralds a new chapter in the annals of deterrence, underscoring the imperative for steadfast vigilance and strategic foresight in safeguarding peace and stability in an increasingly uncertain world. Corey Hinderstein, Deputy Administrator for Defense Nuclear Nonproliferation at the National Nuclear Security Administration, shed light on the recent experiment, emphasizing its dual purpose in advancing technological development, while bolstering U.S. nuclear proliferation objectives. He stressed the significance of these experiments in countering global nuclear threats, particularly by improving detection capabilities for underground nuclear tests, a favored method of concealment for rogue states and terrorist organizations. 
This experiment unfolded against the backdrop of mounting anticipation surrounding Russia's potential withdrawal from the 1996 Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT, an accord aimed at prohibiting nuclear explosions worldwide for both peaceful and military ends. Despite being signed by 184 nations, the treaty's effectiveness has been hindered by the failure of key states such as China, India, and the US to ratify it, preventing its full enactment. Russia's recent allegations against the US regarding subcritical experiments conducted without initiating a nuclear chain reaction, but involving fissile materials have further strained treaty compliance discussions. Simultaneously, the US has urged China to ratify the CTBT aligning itself with the broader international community's commitment to a nuclear testing moratorium since 1996. The recent experiment, once approved, will yield a bomb compatible with modern aircraft and release systems, amplifying the flexibility of U.S. strategic responses to diverse military threats. This technological leap aims not to increase the overall nuclear stockpile, but to modernize existing arsenals, in line with U.S. commitments to maintaining a robust defense posture while safeguarding nuclear asset safety and security. According to John Plum, the B-61-12 represents a prudent step forward in navigating the complexities of today's security landscape, furnishing added flexibility without expanding the nuclear arsenal's total size. Presently, the U.S. possesses roughly 3,700 nuclear warheads, with more than 1,400 deployed across submarines, bombers, and missiles, tailored to specific targets and missions. In comparison, the B-61-12s yield less than one-third that of the B-83. The U.S.'s largest nuclear weapon reflects a strategic shift towards precision and versatility, in stark contrast to the overwhelming power of its predecessors. The saga of the B-83 nuclear weapon encapsulates the intricate dance of U.S. nuclear policy shaped by the shifting tides of presidential administrations and geopolitical imperatives. During Barack Obama's tenure, earnest efforts were made to retire the B-83, reflecting a broader commitment to scaling back the role and number of nuclear weapons in America's security calculus. However, the pendulum swung in the opposite direction under Donald Trump's leadership, with plans for modernization and expansion of the U.S. nuclear arsenal taking precedence. Now, with the proposal of the B-61-12 on the table, the Biden administration finds itself at a crossroads, contemplating its potential as a bargaining chip in persuading Republicans to bid farewell to the B-83. President Biden's vocal advocacy for arms control and non-proliferation underscores his administration's commitment to steering the world away from the specter of nuclear annihilation, evoking the haunting specter of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Analysts speculate on the strategic calculus behind leveraging the B-6112 as an alternative to the B-83, citing its purported cost-effectiveness and enhanced security profile. Yet, such maneuvering unfolds against the backdrop of the U.S.'s most ambitious nuclear modernization effort since World War II. With an eye-watering budget exceeding $750 billion over the next decade, the U.S. is poised to overhaul its aging nuclear infrastructure, confronting escalating threats from adversaries ranging from China and Russia to North Korea and Iran. The imperative for a credible and reliable deterrent looms large, necessitating a holistic rejuvenation of the country's nuclear defense capabilities. At the heart of this endeavor lies the Los Alamos National Laboratory, a crucible of scientific ingenuity with roots tracing back to the clandestine efforts of the Manhattan Project. Tasked with producing plutonium cores, essential components for nuclear weapons, the laboratory stands at the vanguard of America's nuclear modernization program. The resumption of pit production at Los Alamos and other facilities signifies a pivotal milestone in this endeavor, aiming to ensure the sustenance and enhancement of the U.S. nuclear stockpile for decades to come. Yet, the path ahead is fraught with challenges, both technical and environmental, underscoring the monumental task at hand. As the U.S. navigates the complexities of nuclear modernization, the eyes of the world are upon it, with the specter of nuclear proliferation and arms escalation casting a long shadow over the future of global security. In this crucible of uncertainty, the decisions made today will reverberate for generations to come, shaping the contours of a world where the specter of nuclear catastrophe looms large.